Our goal is to make the best bar menu possible, and today we're going to be research and developing some kimchi, trying two different recipes, one which is a really popular recipe that I found online through binging with Babish, and the other one takes my microbiology background and tries to select for different bacteria to make some awesome flavors. Both recipes start with freshly cleaned Napa cabbages, but before we get into those, we actually need to make the paste that is going to help add flavor to these while they are fermenting. So we're gonna start with one cup gojukaru or Korean chili. Then we're going to get one onion chopped. Then we're going to use 15 cloves of garlic. Uh, two tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. A quarter cup of fish sauce. And two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And a half cup of non-chlorinated water. <laughs> I'm gonna start on the next Napa cabbage, but this one, uh, after we get this layered with the same coating, we're actually gonna treat just a little bit differently going into the fermentation step. Now that we've properly fingered this Napa cabbage, uh, which is really important both for full penetration of the thing that's gonna make it kimchi in terms of sauce, uh, but also activating the cabbage or actually manipulating the cabbage a little bit, it's going to break down the structure and make it a little bit easier for the bacteria that's in the cabbage and the garlic and everything to start working on this when it gets into the fermenter. Um, now we're gonna go through and do the same thing with chives. We're gonna go through and layer that all through the different uh, structures of the cabbage and then we're just gonna chop this up and throw it into its fermentation vessel. Now that we got all our cabbages rubbed down with uh, the saucy mixture that's gonna give us our bacteria and stuff for the fermentation, we're gonna go ahead and get these into two different jars. And one thing I'm going to do to delineate these two is I'm going to start selecting for different bacteria with one of them by using lemons. What that's going to do is going to drop the pH of one fermented kimchi and hopefully select for a brighter, more acidic flavor profile because lactobacillus will be fermenting that one versus a more mixed culture fermenting this one. So we'll see how the two go and that's going to be the start of our kimchi fermentation project. To make sure that these can fit into our fermentation vessels, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter them and then also cut them crossways, and then we're going to smoosh them down as much as possible and hopefully get them covered in all their juices. That's going to help them not get uh, basically disgusting. As we're breaking these open, we're going to use this tray to rub all the open end with our sauce, making sure that everything is coated as much as possible. And we're just gonna break it apart and start shoving it into our fermenter, pushing it down while we do. If anything seems too fibrous, I might leave that behind just because I don't want it to take up too much space. But we'll kind of just add that in as we go. I'm just trying to make sure that all the leafy, uh, pliable bits are in there. Because that's the part that's gonna be really easy to ferment and it's gonna turn around really quick. So that will cover it for that one. We're gonna squish it down to make sure that it's covered by the sauce completely before letting that sit out. And we're gonna let this uh, basically sit out for two days in warm temperature, and then we're gonna refrigerate it for a couple weeks. So going into the second one, we're gonna do kind of the same thing. We're gonna quarter it, but uh, while I'm layering it into our fermentation uh, jar, I'm actually going to start layering in some slices of lemon to both drop the pH and add some acidity. And what this should do is it should select against some of the more wild bacteria uh, that are in there and make sure that we're selecting for specifically lactobacillus, which is a bacteria that will make a brighter, kind of sweeter acidity in the fermentation. So we're just gonna layer in some lemon to up that acidity and create a different profile. Our kimchi is done fermenting and we have some really impressive results actually from the difference in fermentation of just the two. So I'm actually gonna bring in a couple of guest tasters, uh, my business partner and co-brewer at Genus Brewing Company, Logan, and our videographer, Ryan, uh, both of which love kimchi, but uh, Ryan will also get some B-roll while he's kimchi tasting. So both of these are done fermenting and we're gonna open them up and kind of do a side-by-side -side taste test, one with the regular fermentation and one with the pre-acidification. It looks spicy. It smells spicy. It smells really good though. So you can definitely Ooh, it smells garlicky. You can tell the fermentation's done something in the last week. It smells like it's been fermenting. You get a giant leaf. So we have the regular ones right in front of us. We have the pre-acidified ones, the lemon ones, uh, more in front of us. Let's go ahead and start with the regular ones first. It's really good. As a base recipe, I think this recipe is really good. I think Ooh. the penetration, uh, the spice and the uh, flavor and everything into the cabbage. Does a really good job. Does have a kick to it. The base recipe came from Binging with Babbage. I'll link his original video below, but he also got that from a different guy and is linked in his video, so. I mean, I, I personally am not super familiar with kimchi, 
um, but it does have flavor. Um, it's got a degree of like a fermentation to it. Um, not super, super acidic though, compared to like some hot sauces that I've had. Um, I don't know, it's pretty good though. As a topping on a lot of sandwiches. I was like, I don't know it. if I'd eat it straight, but I would definitely eat it on something. So. Let's try the, so the pre-acidified one. What we were going for was the pre-acidification should have selected for specifically lactobacillus to ferment this kimchi, uh, which means it should be a little bit more uh, bright and acidic and drop out some of the uh, more funky fermentation flavors that can come from other yeast and bacteria fermenting. That smell is wildly different. It was like, it immediately smells like lemon. Whoa, yeah, it does. Wow, that is, woo, that is tart. It's way different. So first of all, less of that funky fermentation flavor. Um, mm -hmm. I believe because the pre-acidification selected against some of the natural bacteria that create the funkiness that's in like fish sauce and stuff. Yeah, there's more to it than just the lemon though. There's an extra acidity to it. That's that like, is hitting me right now, like right on the side of my cheeks. It's bright and almost sweet. Like there's a perceived sweetness. Yeah, spice comes through way different. The other one was just kind of like, hits you with spice. This is like gradually just kind of tickling my tongue. Yeah, I definitely don't pick up the garlic as much. Yeah. The spiciness is actually more subdued. Okay, so taking my microbiology background, I think what I want to do is play with specific pHs pre-fermentation on these. I want to do that with uh, maybe raw lactic acid, different kinds of acid, maybe phosphoric or malic, trying to get some different flavors out of the base acid, but also making sure that I'm selecting against other fermentation profiles. So I want to keep going with the same recipe, but I want to play with the, uh, the, the microbiology of why the fermentation creates these flavors. Yeah, ultimately I can tell that adding that, it looks like you pre-acidified it, uh, did have a really significant impact on the final flavor of it. Um, and it really is going to depend on what you are trying to go for uh, and, and really the flavor profile you're hitting. So I'm glad we got a difference, basically, is the, the kind of the gist of it. Uh, this is the starting point. Like I said, the goal is to make the best kimchi possible for bar or street food. And I think we've got a really good base to go with. So now it's just a matter of experimentation. If you guys want to see more of this experimentation go on, uh, if you have suggestions of what we should try next, whether it be the same recipe, which we're probably going to do again with different acidity levels, or a different recipe, let us know in the comments below. Um, support us, I don't know, follow us and see if you want to go along this food journey with us. Follow us on social medias. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we are also Genus Brewing, so that is gonna be linked in the description below. A little bit of cross promotion. <laughs>